in yet another move favouring Beijing's wet dream of Let's control everything everywhere! An animated series for little girls has been taken off the air because its characters have coloured hair, with the host network saying that the series does not aim to promote hair dyeing. Stay right there because you cannot make this stuff up. Shining Star is a South Korean animated series that follows the ups and downs of magical girls gagging to become the next winner of X Factor. Well, sort of. They make some friends and have a sing about ice cream and dance far too realistically. Seriously, the animation is far superior to the tripe you're about to see in a second. A joke, of course, it's really good. However, according to a report by Sohu on the 30th of June, the soft and fluffy series has incredibly drawn criticism. The same way my mum told me not to watch the Teletubbies because it was evil and, quote, would make my brain turn to shit. Some online gremlins have taken to their keyboards to say that Shining Star reinforces improper value guidance by having the characters wear gaudy clothing and dye their hair different colours. In fact, some netizens even called for the girls to be fitted with red communist armbands. Hunan Television responded to the complaints and has since declared that it would actually suspend the broadcast of the show while its content was checked and rectified. In other words, check to see if it fits the values of She's Communist Old Man Gang. I mean, coloured hair. What were they thinking? Oi, Jessica, Jamie, copyright, sort it out. The station had to explain that the series does not aim to encourage hair dyeing and that the use of different hair colours was to help a younger audience distinguish between characters. Gee, thanks. The brown nosing station also promised to broadcast more content that conforms to socialist core values. I suppose we should all just live in black and white, pledge our allegiance to the CCP and never dream again. And I suppose the only way we can enjoy colour is by pressing on a loose tile in a bathroom wall somewhere and enter a hidden room where someone's crying over a colouring book. China's increasingly oppressive regulations on everything in the entire universe ever continues to suppress anything that doesn't fall in line with what Beijing thinks is proper Chinese values. Take this for example, last year a university in Xi'an prohibited its adult students from dyeing their hair anything but dark brown or black. And not just that, again last year a Chinese boy band reality show called Youth With You suddenly stopped airing only to show up on TV again with digital editing. Contestants or traitors to China Chinese values, who were strange enough to dye their hair bright colours, ended up getting a post-production treatment that gave them all black or brown hair. But perhaps most pathetic is the fact male celebrities have had their earlobes censored because earrings don't fit the core values of what a Chinese man should wear. Shit's getting crazy. If you want more Tomo in your life, click the subscribe and bell button so you get notified when a new video is up. Thanks for watching Tomo News.